Okay, here's a review of my uh, <clears throat> SEMA 30-inch uh, Century Boat I just bought. Uh, got it on Amazon for just under $40. Um, that's with the shipping. Um, the construction seems pretty good. Uh, there's a, you know, you lift this up. Can act access to the battery compartment there. Um, it fits a just a normal size 7.2 volt um, battery, which I kind of like uh, because I have radio control cars, so it's kind of compatible with that. Uh, but first of all, I bought this boat because it's cheap, um, and I was going to do try to do this RC boat fishing they're talking about. So, I figured buying this boat and then buying this RC fishing pole for 20 bucks was cheaper than uh, buying their boat for $100. So I decided to try this out. I'm going to run it on the river. Um, it's a shallow river, so this thing might get banged up or broken. Um, so I didn't want to get a hobby grade boat and you know have it all busted up and ruined. So I thought I would just try this. Um, <clears throat> I haven't actually fished with it yet, uh, but I... Uh, um, ran it and it, it's a little quirky at first but you can get used to it um, but it, it has it's kind of hard to explain it has three forward speeds if you're going straight but if you want to turn it you have to give it uh, full throttle and turn which was kind of weird for me at first um, and when you turn, it's full throttle. Um, it's as fast as it'll go. Um, so, if you want to control it in a normal environment, you probably want to use a maybe a weaker battery, actually, to get a little bit more control when you turn. But it is pretty fast. Uh, I'll give it that. Um, and I would say for for the price, uh, it's a really good deal. It's got two 380 motors in it. Uh, um, they're obviously controlled by the speed controller. That's how it uh, controls the turning. Um, and I included, I bought the RC fishing pole separately um, and hooked it on there, which it hooked on real nice. It seems like to be a nice product. At first I thought it was kind of a ripoff for $20 um, just for a piece of plastic. But, you know, if you figure if you want to do this yourself, rig up a rod and reel on there or a rod it's probably not going to work that well and you know for twenty dollars you'll, you'll probably end up getting that much cobbing this thing up to run right um so all in all i think i think it's pretty good i, I took it out probably uh, at least 100 feet didn't go out of radio range um the one one thing i would suggest is this antenna um if it falls in the water the boat won't work so you probably want to tape that with something um, and also the uh, if you're a hobby person I have RC cars so it just bothered me how this there's a function that if it's if it's not in the water it won't work and and I couldn't find a switch anywhere or whatever but what it is is the propellers down here um, there's a little bit of copper exposed if those two aren't in the water um, if those two shafts aren't in the water it won't go so if you get one at home and you want to test it um, and you don't want to take it to the lake maybe put it in a bathtub or something um, and in instructions too it says you can touch the two copper tubes in there with your hands um, and, and it'll make it go so and it did come with a stand so I think it's going to be a pretty good boat I haven't used it I haven't actually tried to catch any fish yet with it but uh, uh you know the the regular boat that comes with a fishing pole from RC fishing or whatever is like a hundred bucks so I figured I'd spend 40 bucks on this and 20 so I saved 40 dollars um, oh it doesn't have reverse which kind of sucks but uh, otherwise for a for a cheap RC boat um, they could probably take some punishment I mean it seems like to be pretty thick plastic. 
Um, you could probably beat it around a little bit. So that structure will probably hold pretty good. I, I don't know about the electronics, but I'm not going to try to put a real powerful lipo battery in it or anything. I'm just going to stay with what uh, just stay with a, either an NIMH or a NICAD battery. But this way, I figured it's only forty dollars. Um, uh, if, if I'm trying to fish with it in a river and it goes down current, it's not like it's going to break the bank. Um, using a hobby grade boat for fishing is probably more, you can probably steer it better and accelerate smoothly, more smoothly, but uh, if you lose it, you know, it's going to be, you know, money out of your pocket. So give it a try.